Let's take a look at how we use the NetAlly LinkRunner AT4000 to test an SFP. So to start with, I have a known good SFP connected in here, connected to a known good fiber. So I'm going to go into Auto Test, and I'm going to hit Start. I'm going to run a test. Now we see that we linked at one gig. In fact, if I come in and I tap on that, I can see that I've got a receive power of negative 5.88 decibel milliwatts. That's fantastic. That's a good power for a gigabit connection. So I'm going to go back and I see that I was able to get a DHCP address. I was able to get to my DNS server. Things look good on this connection. Now I'm going to replace it with an SFP that I'm getting ready to put into production. So I'm going to pop this SFP out and I'm going to put this other SFP in. I'm going to connect my fiber up to that SFP and I'm going to hit start. And we're going to see if we can link up. Now what we see is that that circle is spinning on the link. That's a bad sign. That's telling me that I'm having trouble linking up on this SFP. Now, in all honesty, this SFP was in my network and I went around in circles at first trying to figure out why the fiber link wouldn't come up. In the end, the SFP was bad. I swapped it out and it worked. If I would have gone in and done some testing on it first, I would have found that the SFP was bad and it would have saved me a whole lot of troubleshooting. So this is how we use the LinkRunner AT4000 to test an SFP.